Hey everyone, it's Eddie Rivera, aka Iwi Gamer, bringing you an update. This is my third video. In my first video, post uh, bariatric vertical sleeve surgery. So I'm gonna give you guys some updates. How have I been doing, and um, how was my surgery? So let's go ahead and jump right into it. At first, I wanted to include some pictures of me uh, in surgery or knocked out and all that good stuff, but I figured. It'd probably be best if I just bring you consistent updates instead of waiting until I have everything ready. That way, at least you guys are continuing to be informed on how this procedure went for me. So first and foremost, I'm gonna let you know that uh, the procedure went great. It's been exactly one week since my procedure. It was done on September 1st, and currently it's uh, September, what day is it today? I have no idea what day it is since I haven't been to work. Today is September 9th. So uh, it's a week and a day since then. I do have staples in my stomach, which are gonna be removed on Friday, which I'm looking forward to. Well, let's go into a couple of details. How was surgery? Well, to be perfectly honest with you, I've never had any type of surgery before, so this is my first major surgery. Um, I was a little uh, nervous going into it, but you know they were pretty good at the Destiny Surgery Center where I had it done. I did have my procedure done by Dr. David Kim, who's uh, in the Frisco, Texas area and I can't complain, everything was great. I had the sleeve completed, I had a hiatal hernia completed, as well as my gallbladder was removed. So I had all that done, it took about three hours, I was out under surgery to complete all these processes. Uh, how did I feel afterwards? Um, you know, there was a lot of pain, but I was um, the day I was there in surgery, I had quite a bit of medication, so I didn't really feel too much pain. Uh, at that time, I did have to get up and walk around. It was very hard to swallow water. I had to drink from a like one ounce glass of water until I was able to you know, sip that on a regular basis. Every 15 minutes, I had to have about one to two ounces of water. And it was a little bit tough because my esophagus felt like it was this small. So the way they explained it was that the water was almost felt like it was trickling in through the, your new stomach. So. You couldn't drink too much, you couldn't drink too fast, or you'd feel very uncomfortable. I was discharged the same day that I had the surgery, so I went home, I was feeling great. I was walking around by myself, didn't really need any assistance. The next day I woke up, I was in a little bit more pain. I couldn't sleep in my own bed, there was too much moving around, and it affected my um, incisions, and what I had to do was sleep on the couch for a couple of days. It was better for me. Uh, I was less cushion, and it was a little bit more stable. So I didn't feel like it was squishing around and it just was better overall for me to recover for a couple of days. Once I got a little bit more acclimated and my incisions healed a little better. I did have a um, liquid hydrocodone which I took for the day after, the day of surgery when I, before I went to bed and the next two days I took it. After that I did stop taking it. I don't, I'm not a big fan of pain medication so I just try to get off of it as soon as possible. If I need it, I need it. And if I don't need it, I'll rather just try to, you know, grit my teeth and go through the pain. It's not, it was, the pain wasn't extremely terrible, so I don't think it was extremely necessary. Besides the hydrocodone, I'm taking an antacid to go ahead and keep the acid levels in my stomach at a reasonable level. I'm also taking an anti-nausea medicine as needed and also a medication that is for any GI tract spasm. So if uh, I was having hiccups and felt like just contractions in my stomach during uh, the first couple of days and I, they give medication for that too. Uh, I haven't had any of that recently, so I haven't had to take anything uh, for that. Besides the medication, I'm also taking my vitamins, my B12 vitamin, multivitamin, vitamin D, et cetera, et cetera, all the recommended vitamins. My diet itself consists of the first couple of days was strictly water, isopure, and I know a lot of people don't like isopure, but you gotta think, don't do it for the flavor, do it for the nutrition. You're getting a lot of protein from it, and you really shouldn't be thinking about, oh, well, this tastes great, this tastes bad. You should be really thinking about, I need protein in my body to heal. So it's very important that you do try to put the protein in your body. What I found is very helpful is you mix isopure with either one fourth isopure or one half cup isopure and then the rest water. Mix it up, it still has the taste. If you're not a fan of the taste, it'll still have it, but it's less gritty and it's less concentrated. 
So at least you'll be able to down it a little bit better. You'll still get the protein from it. Just work it into what your diet so that way you'll be able to get the protein you need to heal. Once you complete phase one, you'll move into phase two, which is back to your protein shakes. I've already completed all my berry essential tubs that I had for uh, the pre-liquid diet. And now I'm actually using a new protein powder that I got at Costco. It's 24 grams of protein. It's pretty good. It's called On Protein. Uh, $60 for 90 servings. It's not really that bad. Hardly any sugar. I think it has one gram of sugar, maybe like three grams of carbs, uh, 1.5 grams of fat. It's very, very good. 24 grams of protein. Even if you're mixing it with water or almond milk, you're still getting quite a bit of protein for a power up. I'm also consuming cream soups, and I've had um, not too much issue getting a cup of cream soup down, so it hasn't been too bad. I have experienced a couple of, um, I don't wanna get too graphic, but I have had some issues with um, my stomach not agreeing with things, and I think it might be due to the dairy. So I've had a couple of cases of diarrhea, so like I said, don't wanna be too graphic about it, but just kinda give you guys an insight as to you know things that might not mix with you the original multivitamin that i took was a liquid multivitamin and it was a little bit oily i took this and all day was not pleasant so you just you know you can figure out what i'm trying to say there um and also i have been mixing my um, shakes now with almond milk instead of regular milk because i think the regular milk um i don't know if i'm getting more lactose intolerant it's just it's just not agreeing with me as much and I'm trying to cut the milk out to see if that fixes my bowel issues and we'll see how that works. Again, TMI, but it hopefully it'll help somebody out. If you're trying if you have issues and you're having digestion issues, then maybe try to exclude certain things from your diet and see what works and what doesn't work. That's what I'm trying to do right now. But so far so good. I've had the almond milk and I haven't had any issues. So I think that it was just the milk itself. Maybe it's just too potent at this point in time, and I haven't healed enough to try to uh, process that well. I'll try reintroducing it at a later date. Um, you know, if milk agrees with me or disagrees with me, I'll have to make that part of my life and try to make changes um, as they come. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. Let me just give you my starting weight. I originally started at 272.2 pounds. My pre-surgery weight was about it was exactly 16 pounds, it was 256.2. I'm currently at 246 pounds as of this morning after my shake. I think yesterday I was like 245.8. Uh, that was before I had anything to, I, I consumed anything for the day. Uh, if you guys wanna, here, I'll, I'll actually do a body shot here. I don't know if you guys can see this very well. Um, here's my shirt. If you guys wanna see my staples, it looks a little bit of a mess. My pants are actually falling down. Um, I'll get a little bit closer if you can see here. I'm a little shaved, so it looks a little weird. But um, if you see the staples here, you'll see um, here, here, here. I have seven staples. Now, I think I had more staples just because um, I had to have my gallbladder taken out. So you'll see, you know, there's quite a bit here on the bottom, and there's a little bit of irritation here as well. Um, but I mean, it's healing pretty okay. Here, let me get a little bit closer if you guys can see that. This is irritated right here, but I haven't put a Neosporin on there. And hopefully you guys can see. These should be taken out on Friday. But uh, it's not too bad. You know, I feel it. My wife, you know, when she gave me a hug yesterday, she, she was telling me specifically, um, you know, I can feel the difference in your body. She's like, do you feel it? And I thought to myself, I was like, you know, I kind of feel it a little bit. I just don't feel 100% because, you know, I haven't fully recovered. I think once I fully recover from surgery, um, you know, I start moving around. And definitely once I can do some weight training after six weeks, I'll definitely be able to give a better recount as to how I feel 100% as my in my new body. So that's about it, guys. I just want to wrap it up, give you guys a heads up as to where I'm at currently in my process. And uh, we'll continue to bring you videos um i'll try to bring another one next week um and the week after that i don't know how frequently i'll do it i'll try to do it based on the different changes that i'm going through and um you know once i go into my different phases like the puree diets and things like that so until next time guys thank you for joining me and we'll see you guys later